interactive. Don't forget this audience interactive. Uh, the motion is that a bachelor's life is happier than that of a married man. To propose the motion, we have Martin Fagan, we have Rod Lucas, we have Ashley Smith, yes, and we have Aaron Castles. Uh, to oppose the motion, we have Eamon Castle Sr., we have Charlie Smith, we have Claire Higgins, and we have Brian O'Reilly. So, uh, <laughs> without further ado, I think I'll hand it over to Martha to open the debate. Mr Chairperson, Madam Timekeeper, adjudicators and ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to return to the floor to represent the young generation of Makra with the vitality, vigour and passion of youth against the hardened cronies who will stop at nothing to impede our happiness and strip us of basic luxuries such as television. <laughs> Let us not beat around the bush tonight. I hate to insult my elders, but there will be no punches pulled here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, like Plato and Aristotle, the teachers will be learning from the students tonight. Yeah. 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 Too well. The motion that we'd like to propose tonight is that a bachelor's life is happier than that of a married man. And given the flagrant disregard for the rules of debating that has been displayed here tonight, and the lack by all senior members of MOCRA in the last debate to define any kind of emotion, I'd like to now put forward a clear definition of this motion. Have a goal. A bachelor <laughs> is an unmarried man, a man of any relationship status except married. That includes the Facebook statuses, it's complicated, single, in an open relationship and down for whatever. <laughs> it also includes a person holding a four year degree. And I know you might be looking at me thinking that I don't have a right to an opinion on bachelors, but actually by that definition, I can express an opinion. Yes. Happy is pleasing or delighting, and therefore happier is more pleasing. The definition by Freud of pleasure is the fulfillment of our basic needs. And I think you'll all agree that bachelors probably achieve that a lot more easily than married. <laughs> 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 happiness is not contentment, it's not a sense of inner peace that you get from bouncing a baby on your knee. But happiness is the fulfillment <laughs> of your immediate <laughs> 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 Bachelor's life, Charlie, not a married man. <laughs> life is the manner of living or the content of your experiences. And I think a bachelor probably has a more diverse content of experiences than a married man. And a married man, well, I don't really need to define that. I could use various adjectives, but let's not, let's not get vulgar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, society has progressed beyond a vulgar desire to marry and procreate. As more diverse and complex we get with each generation, we're allowed to achieve more diverse aims. And now, for lots of people, getting married is not the ultimate aim. And many people would desire not to get married or have children at any time. We get more complex with each generation, and the opposition may not know this, but scientifically, the IQ of the population increases with each generation. I think that's pretty and with age. So, um, we're allowed to achieve, nowadays, we're allowed to achieve many diverse facets of our lives, and as I said, for many people, bachelorhood is a, a, a choice, and for many people, they choose not to get married or have any children. But for most people, there is a time in your life when you are single and unmarried, as they're referred to in the definition of an unmarried man. And even those of you in the audience who are now shackled by the chains of marriage <laughs> would agree that you would look back on your period of bachelorhood and think, and think those were the days. Because for a lot of people, that was the time of their lives. You better stop them all. Now, as I said, <laughs> what is marriage these days? Because people can be in long standing relationships, and then marriage for them is maybe just a piece of paper, maybe just another legal arrangement. Oh, there's a lot of monetary gain <laughs> these days, but money doesn't necessarily make you happy. Notwithstanding that donations for the team would be gratefully appreciated afterwards, because being a single lady is quite expensive these days. Not being a man in this debate might be considered a bit of a disadvantage, but it does give me a bird's eye view of the situation, and it allows me to have an objective overview of what's going on. And as well, I mean, I can tell you how unhappy I plan to make my husband once I get married. There'll be no Xbox, there'll be, no, there'll be none of those three-letter words that Charlie alluded to in his last speech. There'll be no television and certainly no GAA. <laughs> my teammates, Robert, Robert will address through his personal experience, although limited, <laughs> of marriage. <laughs> particularly moved by this sorry tale. Roger is now single. <laughs> Mr. Smith Jr., as we like to refer to him, 
will tell us of the joys, the unbridled joys of his bachelorhood. I have encouraged him to censor this version because his mother is actually in the audience. You may recognise her as the star of Him, or him and Hers, that, that movie that was shown on television recently. And Eamon, Eamon Castle, as well, um, as a bachelor in more than one sense of the word, as a science graduate, will address the biological basis to the inherent happiness of being a bachelor, something which he is well qualified to do in his position as an artificial insemination. <laughs> Consideration the transport costs of a far flung relationship. <laughs> These all led to feelings of insecurity and frustration, feelings that are synonymous with the bachelorhood state. Contrast that with the bliss of the married state <coughs> meals prepared, house clean, <laughs> Don't you have a, <laughs> a warm bed, and more. <laughs> The total happiness brought about by having a family. And if you've experienced this, you cannot begin to understand what being married means. My team teammates, Charlie, Claire, and Brian, are all in this perpetual state of bliss. <laughs> with partners who worship the ground they walk on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ask any of the four of us. Would we be happy to revert to our previous unhappy single existence? The answer is an emphatic no. And the lie detector test. We have. <laughs> some, we, have again. We, we have sunk at the well of contentment. We are happy. We're happier than we ever were in our previous existence. You single people can only dream of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, we are there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join with us and oppose this motion. <laughs> 